Little People Big World's Amy Roloff reveals how she told husband Chris Merrick she loves him. Hello my lovely viewers welcome to my channel, I hope you are so well. If you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my channel. Amy Roloff's first, I love you to husband Chris Merrick is even sweeter than you can imagine. I might have written it in a card or something of that sort. Amy, teased as the couple played the not-so-newly-married game exclusively with Us Weekly, because that's a safer way to say I love you instead of verbally. Both Chris and Amy agreed that she was the one who said those three little words first. While Amy couldn't remember exactly when she first confessed her feelings, she was confident she put it in a special message for Chris. Because I knew you know, with Chris, never having been married or having kids or anything like that, that someone had to say it first after dating for a while, she recalled. I'm a big fan of it's never going to be a perfect moment. You just have to pick the best moment. Amy believes that Chris was looking for the perfect moment to tell her. Chris, for his part, shared that he also remembered Amy first saying I love you with a card and teased because it was easier for him to read the words so he could figure out his reaction. But Amy's really good about giving cards, he gushed. In fact, I usually get at least three cards for every occasion, no matter what the occasion is, and she always writes something really special and thoughtful in there. Amy and Chris tied the knot in August 2021 after five years of dating. The ceremony was held at Roloff Farms, which she once shared with her ex-husband Matt Roloff, who was not invited to the nuptials. Amy had fond memories of the estate, as it was the place where she raised her and Matt's four children twins Zach and Jeremy, daughter Molly, and son Jacob. Upon their 2015 split, Amy sold her portion of the farm to Matt. He initially wanted to sell the estate but ended up turning it into a rental property in 2022. In a February 2024 episode of Little People, Big World, Amy opened up about how it was a struggle to see tenants in her family's former home. I never pictured that the house that I raised my kids in for the last 30 years would be a short-term rental. There should be a family or someone in it, Amy admitted during a confessional. Matt owns it all. It's not like I wish him ill will. It makes sense, you know, for Matt to do it. I mean, from a business perspective or anything, it definitely makes sense. For more of Amy and Chris' romance, watch the couple's full not-so-newlywood game above. LPBW fans call out Chris Marek's obsession with Matt Roloff. It's just creepy. Little people, Big world viewers think Chris Merrick needs to slow his role with Matt Roloff. When Amy Roloff began dating Chris following her and Matt's very public split, she never imagined that her future husband would be enamored with her former spouse. But it didn't take long for Chris and Matt to become fast friends, as we've watched over the last several seasons of LPBW. Amy has voiced her distaste for Chris and Matt's bromance, but that hasn't stopped her husband from reaching out to Matt for advice or spending guy time with him. Not only does Amy disapprove of Chris's friendship with her ex-husband, but so do many LPBG viewers. This week on LPBLU, we watched Amy and Chris visit Matt and Karen in yet another awkward encounter. Although we could feel Amy's discomfort through our TV screens, Chris carried on with Matt like usual. His unapologetic nature toward his relationship with Matt has been rubbing LPB2 viewers the wrong way, and they took to social media this week to get their feelings off their chests. Over on X formerly Twitter, quite a few fans of the show expressed their discomfort watching Chris fawn over, Matt, and the consensus was that Chris's behavior is creepy. Chris spent 90% of this episode talking about Matt, one X user said after watching this week's episode. Your fan weird and creepy, at Mizell is added. Another LPBW viewer complained about the entire cast and the show itself. Amid their rant, they called Chris creepy and accused him of not caring about Amy, but instead just wanting to be on TV. At Huff 2012 asked, What is this obsession Chris has with Matt? It's just creepy. Others chimed in, taking aim at Amy's husband of nearly three years. One such critic couldn't pinpoint why they dislike Chris, but noted there's just something there. They also insinuated that Chris only pretends to be BFFs with Matt for TLC's cameras, adding, I also don't think he cares about hanging out with Matt outside of the show. I predict that Chris will ask Matt if he could be his best man, surmised another LPB2 viewer. Chris serving as Matt's best man isn't too far from an outlandish possibility. 
As we watched this week on TLC, Matt and Karen joked about Chris being Matt's right-hand man at their nuptials. The trio joked about the prospect, with Chris calling it a little weird. During a solo confessional, Chris addressed the discussion of him being Matt's best man. Well, that was obviously a joke when Matt said something about me being the best man, Chris told TLC's cameras. Part of what made it funny was that knowing that it probably wasn't as funny to other people, I guess. I guess that's kinda mean, he added with a laugh. Little People's Audrey and Jeremy Roloff returning to show, fans suspect as stars drop clue after Tori and Zach quit. On a popular Reddit page dedicated to the popular TLC series, one fan shared a screenshot of Audrey's recent Instagram story discussing their social media break. In the adorable snap, she placed her hands on her belly as she is expecting her fourth child while wearing a blue and white patterned maxi dress. Meanwhile, her hubby Jeremy looked dapper in a light-colored collared shirt, beige pants, and boots. Hey, it's been a minute, Audrey captioned her photo. As well as baby number four, Audrey and Jeremy share Ember, six, Bode, three, and Radley, one. In the forum, one fan thought their break from the internet was a sign of their possible TV return. They wrote, or they were filming for LPB Gawi. Wouldn't it all be surprised if TLC made an offer they couldn't refuse following the Zach slash Tori departure? After years on the show, Zach and Tori were ready to say goodbye. On February 22, the couple made the big reveal on their podcast, raising heights that they are not returning for season 26. During the episode, the pair explained their reason for quitting nearly two decades after the show's premiere when Zatch was a teenager. Let's just talk about the elephant in the room. Are we coming back to Little People Big World? Tori prefaced. We are not. We made that pretty clear the last cycle, Zach revealed. But I don't think it's been officially announced to people like we are not coming back to Little People Big World. We are done. That part in our lives, that chapter has closed, Tori added about the decision. Zach noted that it should be no surprise to fans that they're leaving the series after the events that played out in recent seasons. The father of three also revealed that they hadn't officially been asked to return. I think the chapter is closed regardless of us being asked back or not. We made it pretty clear we're done with that chapter for multiple reasons. Because we made that pretty clear, they haven't asked us back technically, but this last cycle was rough between the family, the farm deal, and we were done with it. We moved on. They then shared what led to their decision to leave the show, including wanting to separate from their family and honor the privacy of their three kids, Jackson, six, Lila, four, and Joja, one. Meanwhile, Jeremy and Audrey left Little People, Big World in 2018. Since their departure, the married couple made some big moves, including purchasing and renovating a large home in Oregon. Audrey and Jeremy bought a farmhouse in Hillsboro, Oregon, for $1.4 million in May 2022. The U.S. Sun previously reported that the married couple had dropped $694,570 in renovations on the home in 2022, according to the Washington County Assessor's Office. The improvements featured work on the main home, yard, and a farm implement building. The U.S. Sun revealed last year that Aubrey and Jeremy dropped $791,570 in renovations for the 2023 year. The 2023 improvements include the main home, yard, and farm implement building, according to the Washington County Assessor's Office. In total, the couple has dropped $1,486,140 on renovations. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, so don't forget to subscribe my channel.